Hello and welcome to Tandy Lab. Today we are doing our first boot of our 48 series computers and our grid system. And we've done first look videos of all of them, so if you've missed those, please check them out. We're going to get started with our 4825SX. We've got it already set up here. Uh, it is using an EDC 4000 IDE disk chip. It's very strange. I've never actually used one of these before. So I don't know if it's how the computer is going to be set with it, if it even works. I guess we'll find out. The fans sound good. Uh, there is a 1.2 gigabyte hard drive that was installed in this by someone after the fact. Um, but it's not plugged in and it's IDE cables plugged into that chip I mentioned before. Uh, so it is booting up, counting its memory, all that fun stuff. How much do we have? 20 megabytes? That's pretty good. Invalid configuration information. Well, please run setup utility. Uh, I don't want to run setup utility. Let's just see what happens. It is recognizing the InnoDisk Corp EDC 4000 2 gigabyte as the master drive. And it's checking the extended memory again. <laughs> and I don't think I can skip it. And I don't want to try in case I break something. Creative plug and play. Creative plug and play card found. And it's on C. Let's see what's on this. Games? You know, I always gotta go for games. Let's see if we have anything fun. Uh, Wolf 3D, blah, blah, blah. Hover Tank! There's no way I'm gonna pass up an opportunity to play some Hover Tank. CD, backslash. No, no. CD space, that's right. Let's see. Uh, I do believe I, I don't even have to check. Should just, uh, oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's playing Oh. It is a little awkward because my keyboard is facing this way, but uh, yeah, that totally 100% works, and I'm probably off screen going to play a little. <laughs> so, uh, next computer? All right, next we have our 4850EP. I believe this is running with a standard hard drive. Let's, let's see uh, if it works. Uh, that doesn't sound at, oh. That drive does not sound too healthy. Sometimes you can just hear it and say, oh, this, this might be an issue. But you never know. No boot device available. Keyboard failure. Uh, it's also only, registering three megabytes of extended memory. So I guess it's still stock. Uh, let's just... And it looks like... I'm, I'm trying to press F1 or F2 and nothing's happening because the keyboard's not even working. Let me uh, do a quick check, make sure we got it plugged in nice. Ah, a classic issue. The keyboard was plugged into the mouse board. <laughs> F2. Uh, yes, it is 1990. Uh, apparently this, this computer's got the right date, except I guess it's not Y2K compliant, because it says it's 1919. 
set to auto. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. F2. Ooh, that drive really sounds bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, I'm guessing dead hard drive, but we'll do some more testing off screen. Um, so we're going to move on to our grid computer. Okay, so this computer is a little messed up right now, particularly its power rod is not working functionally, so its power button isn't working currently. Uh, <laughs> So I have to, in order to power it on for you guys, I have to go in the back and actually plug it in. So it did power up before when we uh, were trying to set things up, although I didn't see what was going on with it. <laughs> so I am still seeing this blind. Uh, that does not sound healthy. I think that was the floppy drive. No, actually it sounds like it was the hard drive crashing. Okay, I've got a signal. It's got 8K or 8 megs of memory. And uh, just get, let's see, for strike F1 key to continue, sure. I could go into setup, but yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> warning, real time clock chip has lost power. Check some of configuration, uh, incorrect conf Everything is wrong. <laughs> error, error. Let's see. Auto. F2. This computer definitely needs a little bit of uh, TLC to get working completely. Yeah, I'm gonna call that for now. We need, uh, we need to do some work on this computer. We need to fix its power button. We need to <laughs> figure out why it's not reading a drive. It needs some work. Uh, so that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this series of success and failure. And uh, make sure to check out the first look videos that these computers were featured in. And I will see you guys next time.